What of the brutal husband, the rebellious wife in a disharmonious home where the man is such a brutal, rugged, heartless man, doesn't love his wife, doesn't care for anything. The woman has never heard I love you for as long as he knows the man. Or maybe the wife is also very terribly rebellious. What is going to happen is the emotional and psychological pain on the other partner. The sin is the heartlessness, but the iniquity is the pain of the other person. Causing someone pain. The emotional and psychological pain or trauma of the children. The iniquity of the man was his carelessness about his family. But the, the sin was his carelessness. But his iniquity is the emotional trauma he gives the children. And what is more, children are growing up with a perverted view of marriage. They don't know what marriage is all about. But because they can't see anything, marriage from their parents and then the potential of marital challenges in future because when children grow up within a family setting where the man is brutal against his wife or the wife is terrible the, the young girls are going to be afraid of ever getting married the young and you see one of the greatest prayers a girl should be able to pray is lord give me a husband like my father by monitoring the love, the care, the gentleness, and the husbandness of the man. One of the best prayers that a, a man should be able to, a boy should be able to pray is give me a wife like my mother. By the submissiveness and all that of the mother. Where this thing is not available and not possible within the house setting, then the children have nothing to look forward to. They are afraid of even getting married. I have spoken to young girls in church. Where they said, I don't even want to get married. I don't know. I, I am afraid because there is nothing good in any marriage I have seen around me. Father's marriage, parents' marriage, not good. Relations' marriage, not good. So I'm not looking forward to a marriage. I actually know of a marriage that broke. Where the girl told the man, he said, you remind me of my father. So I can't live with you. You just remind me of, of my father. He said, the father was so brutal to the mother. He said, no, I am not your father. I am a different person. He said, no, you just there's something about you that looks like him. With two children, marriage scattered. That is a kind of side effect. When the man was behaving and being brutal and being careless and being wicked to his wife, he never knew that there are consequences tomorrow that will affect his next generation. And God is saying, you committed the sin, but, your, but the sin also has its iniquity. That has very terrible side effects on your family. Is God speaking to anybody here? So whatever we do, let us understand that, the that there, is so there is something more than the original action. The primary action is not where it ends. 